In this video, I will show you how to create this type timeline effect. Let's start. Filmora is launching an exciting New Year event to celebrate with creators around the world. Spin the wheel, unlock surprises. Each person gets one free draw every day and you can also refer friends to earn more draw chances. Otherwise, create videos and win a Filmora 30-day free license. Step 1. Create a recap 2024 with Filmora sharing your best moments. Make sure it's over 15 seconds. Step 2. Post your video on any socials with the hashtag recap with Filmora. Step 3. Submit the video link on the event website. For more detail, check out the official website link in the description. I have already imported some images. Click on this icon, select the line and draw something like this. Double click on it and change line start style to circle arrow. Simply compress it, which will give us a perfect dot. Set the Y axis to zero. Also adjust X a bit. Go to animation, select fade in. We will move the keyframe back, which will increase the speed. Hold Alt key and duplicate on upper layer. Clear all keyframes from this. Just stretch the line like this. Now change line and style to circle arrow. Perfect. Go to transition search, erase. Apply this one on upper layer. Keep duration around 2.10. Again hold Alt key and duplicate. Just align line forward like this. Similarly, we will set it one by one. Select all and center it to accordingly. Go to here then forward 5 frames and place third layer here. Similarly do for all. Now preview it. Alright, create compound clip. I will type here line. Again add a vertical line. Place it here and drag till to 10 seconds. Firstly, disable border. Here we will add a circle at the line start. Set it parallel to the point. Then apply erase up transition to vertical line. Set duration as your need. Now add first image on upper layer. Simply scale up this image. Now create compound clip of this. Go to effects and apply shape mask on it. Also apply border on it. Go to FX properties, change the color if necessary. I'll set the size to 2. Now adjust this shape accordingly to your requirement. Otherwise, just follow these steps. Click on video section, then decrease scale and set the position. Add a keyframe here. Then go to beginning and set value to 0. Add default title layer. Simple remove this and add your text. Change font. Set size. From the animations, we will choose the round zoom and make the duration 0.60 seconds. Set it between this space. Alright, click on apply. Now duplicate this layer and enter your main headline. Set center align and make it italic adjust size if needed. Again, set position because it's important. Alright, this is good. Simply drag these layers till to 10 seconds. Go to around 17 frames. Duplicate vertical line here. Similarly, adjust the position. Set rotate to minus 90 degrees. Select both layers and duplicate on upper. Set position like this and replace your text. You may find it a bit annoying to have to adjust the position again and again. Only important thing in this effect is to keep the position. Back on text and replace your headline. Now we'll move both of these to a layer above. Match the position a bit. Drag second image here. Resize it to fit the screen. Then right click and create compound clip. 
Now we will copy the effects of the first image and paste it on the second image like this. If the image is not appearing proper, then go to effects properties. Adjust like this, then simply set X axis and Y axis. Now select these four layers, then compound clip type bottom. Similarly, do for these and type here upper just to get it down. Now right click and save as compound clip custom. So we have a type of template. With this help, our process will become a little easier. Go to 1.10 seconds and drag bottom one. We will set its position in advance. Right click, go to edit timeline. Now similarly replace all texts. Open edit timeline on image layer. Replace this image with third image. Increase size and set position. Now click on this home icon. I need to move the pointer a little bit here. Click on compound clip and drag upper from here. Here I will skip this part. I hope you guys understand the concept. In this way, you can also use different mask shapes like circle, square, ellipse, etc. Go to 10 seconds and trim the excess part of all layers. Now check the preview. Decrease line layer speed if needed. Let's watch the final result. Thanks for watching. Like the video, share our video, comment below your suggestion and subscribe to our channel.